Trade Secretary Ramon Lopez says Monday, August 31, the Philippine government's coronavirus task force considers implementing longer quarantine periods that may stretch up to one month. He says the period of one month is being discussed to provide more stability to businesses as the pandemic lingers. Under a general community quarantine or GCQ, about 75% of businesses are open, though many are still facing challenges with recovery due to the limited number of customers being serviced. Regardless of the duration or level of quarantine in a certain area, wearing masks and face shields, physical distancing, frequent hand washing, and isolation of positive cases are among critical moves that will be strictly observed. In the Philippines, there are now 220,819 coronavirus cases as of Monday, August 31. 3,446 of these are newly reported cases. This figure is slightly over the 210,000 cases that experts earlier projected could be seen by the end of the month if Mega Manila was kept under a modified enhanced community quarantine until August 31. President Rodrigo Duterte is expected to announce on Monday new quarantine restrictions in Metro Manila and 14 other areas that remain under GCQ. Meantime, Vice President Lenny Robredo, in a message for National Heroes Day on Monday, calls on the Filipinos to be kind and be brave. She honors the frontliners fighting the coronavirus pandemic, saying the spirit of the Filipino heroes who battled our foreign invaders decades ago lives in all of them. Meantime, India sets a new coronavirus record Sunday, August 30, when it reported 78,761 new infections in 24 hours. It is already the world's third most infected nation with more than 3.5 million cases and at least 63,000 deaths behind the United States and Brazil. India's grim milestone comes a day after the government further eased its lockdown, in place since late March, to boost the struggling economy. The U.S. set the previous record on July 17 with 77,638 daily infections. It now nears 6 million coronavirus cases on Sunday, August 30, nearly a quarter of the planet's total. Around the world, coronavirus infections soar past 25 million Sunday, as countries around the world further tighten restrictions to try to stop the rampaging pandemic. Quezon City 2nd District Representative Precious Hippolito Castello withdraws her House bill supposedly allowing the President to name a temporary designated successor among Cabinet members in case the Chief Executive and all constitutional successors die or become unable to leave the country. In a statement Sunday, August 30, she decides to withdraw House Bill No. 4062, which she filed on August 20, 2019. Castello writes to House Secretary General Jose Luis Montales requesting the measure's withdrawal and permanent archiving. Please take note that the said bill has not been acted upon by the Committee on Constitutional Amendments since the date of its filing. Castello also clarifies her bill does not remove the line of succession and her measure was patterned after a practice in the United States. A similar bill was also filed in the Senate in 2019. Senator Panfilo Lacson said it was sort of inspired by the Netflix series Designated Survivor, where a low-profile U.S. cabinet member suddenly became president when America's top officials died in a fictional capital bombing. As of August 30, Lacson's bill also remains pending with the Senate Committee on Constitutional Amendments. But on Monday, August 31, he urges the Senate to pass the measure, saying he is willing to sponsor and defend such an important piece of legislation on the Senate floor. The House bill's withdrawal comes amid renewed calls for a revolutionary government by a group of supporters of President Rodrigo Duterte. Duterte himself disowns the move. Black Panther star Chadwick Boseman died at the age of 43 after a four-year battle with colon cancer. His official social media accounts posted the announcement on Saturday, August 29. Chadwick was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer in 2016, which progressed into stage 4 within four years. He is best known for playing King T'Challa in the record-breaking Marvel franchise Black Panther. Marvel stars took to social media to grieve the loss of their fellow superhero. Angela Bassett, who played T'Challa's mother, Queen Ramonda, writes a tribute on Instagram. This young man's dedication was awe-inspiring, his smile contagious, his talent unreal. All you possess, Chadwick, you freely gave. Chris Pratt, who plays Guardians of the Galaxy's Peter Quill, says the world will miss his tremendous talent and uses the hashtag Wakanda forever. Captain America himself, Chris Evans, says on Twitter, Chadwick was special, a true original. He was a deeply committed and constantly curious artist. Chris Hemsworth, who plays Thor, shares a photo of him with Boseman, describing him as one of the kindest, most genuine people I've met. 
Mark Ruffalo, who plays the Hulk, says Boseman was, quote, one of the all-time greats and your greatness was only beginning. Spider-Man Tom Holland calls the fellow Avenger actor a role model not only to him on set, but to millions of others around the world. Media mogul Oprah Winfrey notes how he continued to work on movies in between surgeries and chemotherapy. The courage, the strength, the power it takes to do that. This is what dignity looks like. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, meantime, thanks the black cinema icon for, quote, shining your light and sharing your talent with the world. Lady Gaga dazzles on the 2020 VMA's virtual stage on Monday, August 31 Manila time, performing a medley of songs off her latest album, Chromatica. Pop star Ariana Grande joins her for a live performance of the summer hit, Rain On Me. The song also wins Song of the Year, Best Collaboration, and Best Cinematography during the VMAs. Lady Gaga wins Artist of the Year and the Tricon Award for artists who became stars in different fields like music, acting, and fashion. Meantime, Korean superstars BTS debuts on the VMAs, the first onstage performance of Dynamite, the group's first all-English single. The seven-member band is nominated for ON for Best Pop Video, Best K-Pop Video, and Best Choreography, and wins all three. Other winners include The Weeknd's Blinding Lights for Video of the Year and Doja Cat for Best New Artist. A photo circulating online claims the Philippines was the only Asian country without severe acute respiratory syndrome or SARS cases in 2003 because it implemented an early travel ban. This claim is false. The Philippines had 14 cases of SARS from November 1, 2002 to July 11, 2003. The Post compares the supposed response to SARS in 2003 to President Rodrigo Duterte's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. It says because Duterte did not issue a travel ban early enough, the country now has the highest number of COVID-19 cases in Asia. The Post now has at least 17,000 reactions, 2,700 comments, and 21,000 shares. The World Health Organization, or WHO, in 2003 said that of the 14 cases in the Philippines, five were imported and there were only two SARS deaths reported. Neither the WHO nor the Philippine government, under the administration of Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, issued an official travel ban during the SARS outbreak, but screening and ports of entry to the Philippines were implemented to prevent local transmission of SARS in the country. The Department of Health established a triage system that included community containment and quarantine measures and contact tracing. (music) 